What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and today we're going to remove the oil sensor and governor out of a Predator 212 Hemi engine. This should be the same on almost any 6.5 horse Honda clone engine. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and get it done. Okay, when removing the governor, you first want to take off the clutch or torque converter, depending on your setup. And uh, make sure you drain every bit of the oil out of the engine and maybe put a paper, a couple paper towels under or a piece of cardboard because there'll still be a little bit of leftover oil inside. So I'm going to get this um, pulley taken off with this 10 millimeter uh, bolt. My application may be different than yours. So let's get this pulled off and we'll take the bolts out of the side cover. Okay, we're going to take the side cover off. We've already drained all the oil. There's six bolts. As you can see, they're 10 millimeter. So we're going to take those off real quick. Okay, now I like to get a paint scraper in between this uh, edge, in between the side cover and the block, and kind of work it in there, kind of cut that seal. As you can see, it's already separating. Now, once I pop that off, I like to lay it on its back because uh, the cam will fall out. So I'm gonna pull this air filter off back here and uh, cause it's going, it protrudes off the motor so it's gonna get in our way. So I'm gonna take a flathead and pop that off real quick. Okay, we now, now we got that side cover off. I'm gonna lay it to the side. Uh, gasket actually looks really good. I haven't ran this engine whatsoever, so the gasket hasn't got hot. So we'll actually be able to completely reuse that gasket. So now, let me get you a close up. Okay, when you get the side cover off, you'll notice this black piece that's down in the bottom of the engine. That is the oil sensor. It basically shuts the engine off when it, it don't uh, sense any oils in the bottom of the motor. So on a go-kart, the reason I take these off is if you build an off-road go-kart, or the go-kart bounces around a lot, it will shut the engine off. So as you can see, there's two eight millimeter bolts and then you will need to take out that piece that goes through the engine along with uh, this box. Now this is a different engine because for some reason my camera didn't record when I hit record. So uh, I'm showing you on this other engine I have. But um, if you take that out, I believe that's a 14 millimeter nut right there. And then you need to find the bolt that fits in there real snug and uh, either put an O-ring on the inside of it or put a lot of gasket maker to really seal up that, that hole when you block it with a nut and a bolt. Just make sure the nut doesn't extrude any more than that plastic piece does uh, because you definitely don't want it hitting the crank weights. And then on the governor, if you can see down in there, um, that little paddle needs taken out. Now, you'll basically need to take the governor arm off on top of the engine, which is a 10 millimeter no, and then you can pull that arm off and that'll let this black arm slide up and down inside and outside of the block. Now what I always do is slide it all the way up and then I take a, a Dremel and I cut that little head off right there uh, so it can drop down inside the motor and you can remove that. And then, like I said, you need to um, remove this little C-clip that's on the center of this governor and I do it by putting a flathead screwdriver on that little C-clip on the uh, ends of it and then hitting it pretty hard with the hammer and it'll eventually bend it out. That's the best way I, I take them out. You do it at your own risk and however way you find best. So let's get all this pulled out of the engine. Okay, what I've done is found a nut and bolt that'll fit right through that hole and put an O-ring around it. So I'm gonna put this in from the inside and that O-ring should seal up any type of seepage from the inside. Okay, now we have the oil sensor removed. And then I put a bolt with a O-ring on both sides. And we'll check that and see if it ends up leaking, but it should be perfect. 
and uh, then we got the governor removed off that shaft right there right there and then now we just need to remove this little paddle piece that slides in and out okay we've got that governor removed so I just took a Dremel and cut the top off with a little cutting disc and now we got to tap that hole let's find it that hole right up there for I believe it's a quarter a quarter inch uh, bolt so we need to get a bolt out and our tap set tap that puppy and plug her up on oh, I meant to say there are three washers you need to make sure you get out of this engine when you take the governor out one is located right up there on that hole with the yellow grease on it where the governor arm comes through the block one is located at the very back of that shaft once you pull the governor off and then one is on top of the governor uh, and then this little plastic nipple sits right over top of it. Make sure you have three washers, that black or that white piece of plastic, of course the governor, the lock ring, and this arm out of the engine to complete the governor removal. So let's get that hole tapped. Okay, now we got that threaded. What I threaded it with was a one quarter 20, which means 20 threads per inch. Um, and also don't forget on this uh, nut that we bolt and nut that we put through where the oil sensor used to go make sure to put some red loctite around that so it won't work its way loose as well as this one up here you also can use this one as a vent um, to run your pulse pump but I work it off the valve cover because it's completely fine so um, whatever you would like to do but make sure if you plug these with a bolt to put some red or blue loctite I like red because I don't plan on taking this back off ever so that'll lock it down for good okay we got that bolt um, through the side with the lock nut or the lock tight on it as well as that top one and we got the side cover back on so now we can throw our air filter back on and our torque converter which is laying right there and uh, this thing will be ready for the go-kart okay guys I failed to mention that the best case scenario to block the hole from where the oil sensor plug went through the block is to actually tap the hole and just put a bolt in it. I really don't recommend putting a nut inside the engine unless you do use Loctite because it can work its way loose and get caught up in the engine. Thanks for watching Redbeard's Garage. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. See you guys.